It was all about the lobster for these Korean chefs who are starting a weeks-long visit to Maine to learn everything about Maine lobster. Marianne LaCroix is the acting executive director of Maine Lobster Promotion. We've got chefs from four high-end hotels there that are opinion leaders in the country, so we can hope to increase exports to their properties as well as to other properties in South Korea. They're having a lot of growth there, and they're very interested in Maine Lobster. Emily Lane is the vice president of sales for Calendar Island Maine Lobster, and she was instrumental in helping with this important visit where the groundwork was laid years ago. Well, this all got started uh, thanks to the efforts of Food Export USA Northeast. Uh, Mr. Nam and I met uh, two, two and a half years ago at a buyer's mission in Boston, and we have developed a great business relationship over the last uh, two and a half years. Mr. Nam, a large lobster distributor in South Korea, also helped organize and interpret so they're really seeing lobster from trap to table. So we started out with the traps out on the lobster boat. Then they're going to see dealers, wharves, processing plants. They're getting a cooking lesson and uh, some industry meetings. Emily's boss, John Jordan, joined the group. Korea, South Korea is a really interesting market for Maine. And We've had some success uh, exporting lobster there, so we thought it was important to bring uh, folks from South Korea here to Maine to see the magic of Maine and uh, Maine lobster and get the first-hand experience. Get a piece of the magic of Maine because we really think there's a, a potential for a good relationship going back and forth between Korea and Maine. Well, we'd like to let the trap stay down for three days before we pull the oh, same trap yeah. up again. Uh, and we don't know. They could be empty. They could be full. We don't oh, know until yeah. we get them to the boat. Okay. Only grabs. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, not, not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is soft shell. Oh. Hard shell. This one needs to grow, will yeah. grow soon. Oh. That one's already grown, will grow right. next, next year. Two, three, push. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they've looked at it, you know, in their kitchens many a times, but uh, just not understanding the process that goes into it. So you could tell they enjoyed it. Good, good crew. Everybody's hired. <laughs> yeah. With the day on a lobster boat done, now time to visit Ready Seafood to see the next stop for the caught lobster. How was the boat? Good? Good. Yeah? yeah. Not many lobsters, though. Still too early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're not crawling yet. Right. Soon, though. Brendan and Reddy leading the tour of his operation. So we bring lobsters in every day from Portland area all yeah. the way up to Lubeck, to the Whoa. Canadian border. Yeah. To bring down their body temperature, and then we ship them, export them oh, overseas. Yeah. They get cold and then you can pack them because they use very little energy wow. and very little stress, and that's how you can ship them across the world wow. with no mortality. Wow. If you take a lobster caught in the ocean in the warm water, put it in a box, they will all die when it arrives to Korea. A lot of people came together to bring these chefs here today, so we're really happy that the industry came together and uh, really worked together to show the chefs all about Maine Lobster. It's to expose and also to educate. Uh, the whole purpose is to teach people from different countries uh, about the merits of Maine Lobster, about the versatility of Maine Lobster, and how it can be prepared in so many different ways. And across the claws, tail first. Put them in just like this. Most of Korean lobster market was occupied by Canadian lobster, but now you know they know how you make a good quality of uh, main lobster export to Korea. So they say it's used to main uh, main lobster more quantity in the future. And just hours into their visit, business connections had been made thanks in part to the market access program made possible by the Foreign Agricultural Service of the USDA. It really takes the whole industry to bring this together. We can all work together to, to expand the lobster market, uh, the Maine lobster market internationally. The Maine lobsters is great to do with the, with the frozen or the live because it's a wild caught fishery that's been increasing in catch, so it's a very stable fishery. It's a good fishery to invest in in terms of marketing and selling. Applaud the efforts of Food Export USA Northeast. Uh, they provide assistance to small businesses who wish to export, and they certainly, through their buyer's missions and through their support of uh, different trade uh, missions and also shows, uh, allow us to expand our business internationally. Very, very good trip and then good education in, in this day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. In just day one of the trip, it was already a success. Right. Thank you. That was great. I'm Don Coyne reporting. <laughs>